bed and woke up to this. Yep. All around. I and mean, then if you look out there, you see all that snow on the trailer. Not what it was yesterday. But it is today. So Ohio, Broadview Heights, Turnpike West Area. Well today is a 34 hour restart. So I'll check the weather and see what's gonna be tomorrow, God willing. Peace. Everybody, all right. So after the 34 hours, all right, we are um, at the yard here, ready to pick up. And uh, we're here parked inside of our dock there. You can see the dock over there, and back there, <clears throat> you can see all the trucks and stuff that we that we have to pick up and do and all that kind of stuff. So this is what we do here. We come to the yard, we get picked up, and behind us. Is there, Basically that there's, you know, lines and lines and lines of trucks. So the work is here, guys. The money's here. And uh, if you're interested, you know, hit me up. You know, I'm on Instagram. I'm on uh, Snapchat. I'm on YouTube. And uh, we can set you up right away. We got a, we just picked up a new contract and we got a, a need for 50 brand new drivers. All right, peace. Alright, so it took us a total of about four hours to get loaded. So, back on the road after 34 hour break. And we're back at it again. So, uh, yeah, that's it. This is what we do. And uh, I love it, enjoy it. You know, it's a lot of fun. Beautiful job. Peace. Oh, yeah, by the way, we're looking for drivers, owner operators. Do about 230 a year, 230 a year, and a couple of the drivers do about 70. And uh, owner operators get benefits just like company drivers and um, 401k, all that good stuff. Peace. I won, I'm a champion. I'm here. Shh, listen to me, guys. It's a different mentality. What I want you to do for me is I want you to find, I want you, the way you find that next level is you change your mentality. You get to a point, shh, you get to a point that every single day you're trying to find your best. Every single day you wake up, you never know what the big day is and so you never take off because you never know what the big day is. What you just saw up there, Muhammad Ali, that was a mentality. So, okay, so I want to show you when Muhammad Ali was young, he just bop, 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 he knocking you out. His first, first title he ever won, he was a young man, 19 years old. He fought against who? Sonny Listener, who was the champion at the time. And it was like, there's no way this 19 year old is gonna do it. I love Muhammad Ali, he had a different mentality. Watch what Muhammad Ali, do, Muhammad Ali does. He says to Howard Cosell, not only am I gonna win, no, that's cocky. First of all, he says, at 19, I'm gonna beat the heavyweight champion of the world. And so he said, what I wanna do is, so y'all don't think it's a fluke, I'm gonna beat him in five rounds. That's the next level. You go at 19, you're gonna be the champion, and then you're telling us what round you're gonna do it in. And guess what? He became the youngest heavyweight champion in the world. He knocked out Sonny Listen, and guess what round he did it in? Fifth round. He said, I must be the greatest. <laughs> all right, we're gonna turn this in today. We on the way. We got like another hour before a 10 hour break is up. And then, uh, we're gonna go ahead and take this thing in and uh, I guess move on to the next one. Waiting on for a call for dispatch. I'm pretty sure they're gonna send me to Baltimore to pick up the next one because um, that's where our next spot is. That's closest to uh, Warrington, Pennsylvania. So from there, we'll see where we're gonna go. We'll see what they're gonna do. All right, peace. <laughs> 